Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Anna Baker with breaking news from the Pennsylvania Convention Center here in Philadelphia. We just held a press conference about a very urgent issue, the effects of type 2 diabetes in children. There are more than 19,000 Americans under age 20 with type 2 diabetes, which was once known as adult onset diabetes. The breakthrough comes from what's known as the Today Study, which was designed to test the safety and effectiveness of diabetes drugs in young people. It's the largest study to date of children with type 2, taking about 700 participants between the ages of 10 and 17 from across the United States who had been diagnosed with type 2 and following them over a period of two to six years. The, discovers, the researchers discovered three key findings. The first is that type 2 diabetes acts very differently in children than it does in adults in that it progresses much more rapidly. Second, many children with type 2 may already be exhibiting signs of very serious complications. By the end of this study, nearly a third of subjects had high blood pressure, 17% had early markers of kidney disease, and 13% had signs of eye disease. Finally, researchers reported that it might be possible to identify patients who will do well on the drug metformin based on their first response to this pop popular diabetes drug. So that's the good news here. Young people who were able to attain normal blood glucose control in the beginning of the study were more likely to continue to do better than those whose initial response to metformin was not as complete. Meanwhile, for the half who did not respond as well to the drug, they faced more rapid progression of the disease. For them, the best option might be combination therapy, most likely with insulin, since there's limited information currently available about using other oral medications in children. So not only are a growing number of kids getting type 2, they are quickly presenting complications within a relatively short period of time living with the disease. Within 10 to 20 years, many of these children may have substantial health problems. Complications that, dr that doctors are accustomed to seeing in people in their 50s and 60s might start presenting themselves in the 20s and 30s, causing a potentially major health burden. It is already estimated that diabetes costs the United States more than $174 billion every single year. All the more reason for healthcare providers to be aggressive about therapies for young people with type 2 so they can preserve what pancreas function they have and keep their blood glucose levels in check. Of course, we'd most like to see the diabetes trend reversed. No matter your age, type 2 diabetes can be prevented or delayed through small steps such as changing your diet, increasing your physical activity, and maintaining a healthy weight. I'm Anna Baker reporting from the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. To view this press release online, please visit the Four Media section of our website. And for the latest breaking news and research from Scientific Sessions, stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news.